Hey third graders, Mr. Bell here. All right, let's get started on your next project, which is going to be an autumn pumpkin. All right, so let's think uh, about Thanksgiving time here. You'll notice that the pumpkin goes from uh, yellow um, to yellow-orange, to orange, to red-orange, to red. And that can all be achieved by using just these three colors, red, yellow, and orange. All right, and that is an analogous color scheme from yellow to yellow, orange, orange, red, orange, red, and you will see it here, yellow, yellow, orange, orange, red, orange, and red, and of course, analogous colors are colors that are right next to each other on the color wheel. All right, all right, let's, here we go. So the first thing you need to do is, um, Get a sheet of paper, pencil, uh, yellow, red, and orange crayon. Uh, you'll need a brown marker, uh, blue and purple crayon, brown crayon, green crayon, and you might want to use a, a blue and purple marker also. All right, these are all the things I used on this project. All right. Let's begin. All right, first things first, uh, let's get the shape of the pumpkin. We'll start with the middle part here. Make the shape kind of like this. This will help make the pumpkin look more uh, three dimensional. And another section. And Go. Then this side. Go. Make it somewhat um, symmetrical. It doesn't have to be perfect though, because I mean it is a pumpkin. Okay. If you see any parts you don't like and you need to fix, then fix them. I kind of don't like the way the bottom looks here, so I think I went too far down with these. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit. There we go. That's what the eraser is for. Get it looking the way you want it to first. There you go. All right. And, you know, not every pumpkin is shaped exactly the same, so something kind of like this is fine. Next, uh, your stem. And it, it could curl more, it could be straight. There's lots of different ways that you can make the stem. I'll put some lines in here. Make it look a little more realistic and maybe some leaves sticking up. You don't have to add the leaves, but if you want to, you can have a couple leaves. Like they're back there somewhere. And one pumpkin will look like it's on the ground or maybe you want it on a table or something. That's up to you. So I'm going to have mine like it's in the grass. And we're ready to begin. Okay, here we go. I'll start with the yellow up top. Whoa, I almost forgot to do something. I almost forgot to trace the lines with the brown marker. So I'm going to go ahead and get these traced. This gives it more definition. You don't have to trace it with the black, or with the brown marker, I mean if you don't want to, and you can trace it with a black marker if you want to. But um, if you like the look of having your lines traced to give it more definition, you can. Um, I've done this project without tracing the mark with the marker also, so I'm going to leave that up to you. This side. And here. Now, if there's any parts you didn't quite get very good, like me, then you can come in after. Erase any of the pencil lines that you don't want showing up. There we go. I think I'll use a green marker. Again, you don't have to trace anything with a marker. You can just start coloring, but 
I'll get to the coloring part soon. And I think I'll uh, add some blades of grass. Different ways that you can do grass. I have to crisscross it. I want to put a sheet of paper underneath this paper if you don't want any marks on your. Uh, I'll have some going up into the pumpkin too. Or you can not have them overlap. That's up to you. If you don't want to get your table messy at home, then put a piece of newspaper or another sheet of paper underneath so you don't mark up your table in your house. There we go. Nice. There we go. That's right. All right. Go in here and color in the leaves. You color in where the grass is. corner and then you can hold it down with your finger. Turn your paper upside down if you need to. I always do. Each edge is better that way. There we go. Okay, here we go. Now I'm ready for the autumn colors, the pumpkin colors. Make it look kind of 3D also if you uh, use this color scheme. So I'm going to start at the top, like uh, more of the light shining on the top and less light as you're going down. I'm not going to draw the light source. I'm not drawing a sun or anything, but we can imagine that it's shining more on the top. And all the white spaces. You might want to color the pumpkin first and do the grass afterwards. So it doesn't matter what order you do them. I, I could have even I do that kind of lightly. I could have done this first. And add a little bit of yellow on the top of that there. Different ways to do this kind of stuff. All right. Sometimes people like to add a little bit of very lightly, a little bit of brown in there. There's some dirt showing through. You can do that if you want. You don't have to. And very lightly. Okay. Now, once you have this yellow part done here, you can. I like to add some lines. Kind of keep them kind of curvy. I'm doing that so when I do my orange next, it'll blend in with that a little bit, make it look more natural, and that will also help create the um, the yellow orange. So there's the yellow. Get a little bit more in there. Then I'm going to do an orange in the middle, and as I work my way up. Towards the yellow, it will the orange will blend with the yellow, and then you'll get a yellowish orange color. There we go. All right. Over here. Blend it up into here a little bit. The next parts. You don't have to go as fast as I'm going. I do have time restraints on the length of my video, so I have to use my time wisely, or I'll be rushing at the end. Okay, there we go. 
go. And when I get to the bottom here, I'm going to add some lines like I did with the yellow up there. Some darker, some lighter. Pumpkin's mostly orange, so I definitely want to show more orange than anything. Now it's time for the red. I've got some grass in the way there, so I'm just going to kind of go around the grass. And sort of go on there a little bit. And blend it in with the orange. that. Yellow, yellow, orange, orange, red, orange, red. When the red mixes with the orange, it makes a reddish orange color. The tertiary colors. Keep coloring these in. Okay, if you need to go over any of the parts again, go over them again, try to blend them in a little bit more, get some of this orange down to the red down here. And some white parts, there we go, and I think I might add a little bit of yellow these leaves up here a little bit, maybe a little bit to the stem. It's always good to blend colors, blend them whenever you can. It'll just make your picture look a little more realistic and natural. All right, now I am ready to work on the sky. There's lots of ways you could design the sky. I, I put some cold color wavy lines in the background because that'll create a contrast between cold colors and the warmer analogous colors here and makes it pop a little more. Um, but you decide what you want to do in the background and I'm just going to go ahead and start uh, putting some lines back there. Make sure you jump over to the other side. You want to make them look like they're behind if you decide to do this for your background. And Anything interesting will be fine. This is just one of many ways you could design your background. I'll put some, uh, make these a little, it'll be a little different than the other one I made. There we go. This one's a little wavier. Make it look a little more dramatic. All right, and then you can start coloring in. Start with my blue. And go on to my purple. I hope you can tell by using the um, gradate the um, difference between the yellow and the red and all the colors in between. Um, these analogous color schemes makes it look a little more three-dimensional. So you just keep on coloring all your little sections in there. And when you're finished, voila! You have a really nice autumn pumpkin. Looks pretty three-dimensional and very pleasing to look at. All right. Y'all have fun working on this. I can't wait to see your finished autumn pumpkins. All right. Bye-bye.